everyone hope you are having a great weekend and welcome to figure fantasy yuncha has arrived but the hype is a bit low so we're gonna do a review a more comprehensive review on his kit uh we're gonna do also a um suggestions on his um what parts badge and um on team composition and my final thoughts on him because he's a collab um character and uh, there are certain implications in the game if we don't get him now so let's um I'm just gonna show you guys um the survey that I put out yesterday because I was so curious whether you guys are into pulling for him or not so uh 43% said yes but no is 32 the rest are either still thinking about it or waiting for a review so this part here the no going down this definitely is going to be a no uh if this trend continues so majority of the players uh, do not think that they're gonna pull for Hyun Cha. so let's discuss him review him Let's see on what to equip him to keep him more competitive versus Ayane, which is an existing defender for Galatea. Okay, let's go back to Yun Sha here. Let's discuss his uh, skills. Okay, so attack is extreme piercing. Range is one slot. Enemy Attacks enemy st uh, starts from the first enemy in the same line. Attack speed is intermediate. Uh, regular 1-4 defender. Upgrade effect level 2. Adds a percentage of your max health as bonus uh, damage to your basic attack. So definitely is going to be built through his HP. And level 3 is your basic attacks heal you for a percentage of your max health. Again, max health is important. So we'll discuss later the, the parts that he's going to need once we're done with discussing the skills. Okay, so next is his ultimate despair piercing spear. Initial energy is 50. Attacks the current target to deal damage and infect the target for 5 seconds. Boost, ignite, and frost damage taken by the target while infected. So he's going to be doing a buff for uh, for ignite and frost. Yun Cha recovers health each time he lands a basic attack on an infected target or when they are hit by a passive electric current strike. Boosted damage and healing amount based on his own max health. So again, another key to max health. Upgrade effect level 1. Yun Cha additionally heals the ally with the lowest health each time he lands a basic attack on an infected target when they are hit by his passive electric current strike. So he has healing for his allies, lowest HP. Level 3 is going to be each time an ally deals basic attack damage to an infected target. Gains Inspire for 3 seconds. So... What is Inspire? Well, um, Inspire is here. So moving on to his passive, elect Electric Current Strike. When taking damage, he has a 15% chance to stab the attacker with a spear. Wants to deal damage, boosts his damage reduction by 40%. So 40% self-heal, healing with allies, and inspires all front row allies for 3 seconds. This one... Um, Inspire is immune to silence while under the Inspired state. So, unless if uh, you're doing PvP, Inspire is going to play a part, but this is going to be very short for 3 seconds only. So, I don't think this is going to be helpful for his kit. Um, I just hope that they just change this or they increase the number, the duration instead of 3 seconds, probably 5 or more. So the change of stabbing with his spear will be adjusted by his accuracy bonus. So take note, his accuracy should also be increased while damage will be increased based on his max health. So max health and accuracy. Upgrade effect is grant 20% reduction while inspired. Electric strike recovers health when his health falls below 50. And this is the definition of inspire. And the lastly is your special superb vigilance. Has a 25% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% when attacked. So upgrade effect, bonus max health by 5% and defense by 10. He has a 35% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% when attacked. So that is the gist of his kit. So nothing too special about his kit. So HP um, healing, self-heal, ally heal, damage reduction... 
and supposedly buff for front row but again it's a very small or short buff which doesn't you know have any bearing so that is his skills guys let's move on to what you should equip him with okay so let's just imagine that this is uh that this is Yun Cha for a while. So he has to be built with all HP. Um, at most. I would rather have him all HP because most of his skills are anchored on HP. Um, if you have a preference, put one, you know, one set here of defense. But again, HP is my recommended one for him. Okay, so as far as badge is concerned, we need to equip him with an um, external Midsummer badge, which boosts his accuracy. Or if you don't have this one, you should be able to equip this one, the End Time uh, Ambition badge. Okay, so team composition, going back to what we have, I'm just going to be filtering this for Galatea. If you really want to... <laughs> To maximize him, you really need to bring um, Ayane with him. You also need to bring Zhao Yun with him as your frontline. The rest would be damage dealers at the back. Um, namely, would be Lubu. If you take out um, Zhao Yun, you could put in Erixia for, for shared health. Um, that's it. But you can splash him basically with any team if you don't have him. Um, you can mix and match him with any, you know, any um, other team components if you have other uh, figures from other teams. So he's he's he's, he's actually splashable as well. Not only um, limited to Team Galatea. Okay, guys. So final thoughts. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not pulling for him. Obviously, I have I have Ayane. So, I like Ayane's kit better than him in terms of um, overall defender, what he brings. He's a decent one. Don't get me wrong. He's good. If you don't have Ayane, then definitely you pull for him. If you have Ayane, then definitely you should hold back on pulling for this figure because we have a lot of things needed for Galatea, especially a DPS. We need a DPS badly for Galatea. So, I would rather you save for that figure rather than getting him. Um, unless you want two defenders in your Galicia team, be my guest. You can pull for him. You, we might need him in the future or in future content. So I propose a solution for you guys. For those who are, who are not pulling but might still pull. Okay, so if you're banking on pulling him here... You cannot pull him here because uh, you need, you must own Yuncha before you can buy this limited piece. So that's the problem. So if you're still convinced that you still need him in the future, um, pull for him once, then buy copies of him here so that you won't have to pull there and save those for you know future banners that we may need currency for. Um, but that's it. Okay, guys, so that is it. So basically right now, my mindset is I'm not pulling for him, but I'm still in defense. We still have time to pull for him. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, might as well save currency, but definitely I'm leaning towards not pulling for him. Kinda, let's say, 70 to 80% not pulling versus 20% to 30% pulling. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully... This video was informative and this could help you decide whether you're going to pull for him or not. And, you know, comment down in the comment section if you're going to pull for him or not. So thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.